I haven't completely. Right. Okay, so okay. I haven't completely finished it, but I've started it. Um, I, I've, I've asked for some help from Kenny uh, to do that, and then hopefully we can um, go back and, and fill it for Guadalc and uh, Academy. Uh, so, um, uh, oh, actually, I should ask Neo, how, how did Academy go? I don't, I don't think we've met since then, right? I think when last we met. Academy was just coming up yeah. uh, and you're going to attend it next week. Yeah, it went very well, actually. It was very, very you know, productive to have all the people after two, yeah. three years together in the same place. Everyone was very happy you know, to see each other and you know, uh, <laughs> interact and do stuff as a team. So yeah, all in all, it was a very, very productive one. Fantastic. Mm. Good. So for those joining the recording late, welcome to the Chaos App Ecosystem Working Group. Today is October 25, and we started the recording after we did a round of introductions and talked about various experiences we had in open source. And now we are down to business, Take doing things. <laughs> so, so um, do you have the metrics report that was for the Linux app summit, right? Tree. Yeah. Uh, I, I have the raw, I, I just filled in the parts that I can. And then I did the, yeah. I, let me, let me see. I think we can do something similar for, for chaos con. We it's been a month since chaos con, uh, North America, no Europe this year. Um, and I talked with Elizabeth briefly. She said she'd be very happy to pilot our new metrics reporting template that we have. Good um, deal. Yeah, and so we can get it started, send it to her, and then she can give feedback and help us improve it. And so, shalom for for background we have been working on metrics that event organizers can report and we we published those but the event organizers from our conversations that we have with them are having you know they, they need a little bit more help and support to actually report them and that's what we've been working on the last couple of weeks to create a slide template where we have the metrics and then you can just fill in the, the values for the metrics and the um, what do you might call it? I don't know. I don't remember where I was going with this. Sorry, my brain is really jumbled these days. Could you? I, I I need uh, some assistance. Um, can you um, share this for me? My my Zoom on Wayland does not does not let me share. I have to. I didn't because it's a the app because I ran a Zoom app instead of the running yeah. it from Chrome. So that's the report. Um, so I, I, there, I'm sharing. Okay, cool. Thank you. So we could cut. Oh, nice. Beautiful template. I need to get rid of that click the thing. Uh, I don't have anything. To, I I need to help from where it wouldn't need to highlight. I wasn't there, so it's hard for me to highlight. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't there for my own conference. Um, so, but I really like this template. It's it is. I love the colors, things like that. Uh, I I did fill out the speakers. I, I didn't know about the percentage. I, I like I said, I did what I could. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think the the goal was to remove these items here once you filled in the blanks. Oh, okay. Placeholders. Yeah, I, I didn't put the country, so I gotta fix that. Here we have. That's not the right color. I don't know what color we were using. Um, mm -hmm. YouTube. Was I, got, it? I, got, um, I want to say it was like 400, but I just got to check. I don't remember what it is. Did you stream it on YouTube? Yeah, we did. Okay. Well, the, the we I don't think we did a live stream, Neo. Right? We we um we did um. I think it was a hybrid, actually, and it, it was live streamed. I don't know if it was, it was live, live streamed, streamed on YouTube, but it was definitely but we streamed. Did, it was live stream, yeah, yeah. yeah but and, but the talks were are put the individual talks are put on YouTube. So, um, and I didn't track previous years, so we'll just have to. Yeah, they had to, these are from the last time it was a person, which that's cool, but we need some new ones. Yeah. Some uh, registration data. Actually, I, I think our, our inclusivity knows that our, our diversity includes and probably we're not as great this time, but. Um, mm. I remember. You know, so uh, Ruth talked at this conference too. So she gave a talk. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, Job, yes. I don't know. Did I pronounce it well? I'm sorry, what did was, you say? Yes, I was talking to you, yes. Uh -huh. You you gave me a tag that I should um, redesign the templates, right? I, Do you recall? Do you recall yes. that conversation we had? Okay. Yeah. No, um, is it, is it, will I learn what to do from this call? Because I didn't understand what I was supposed to do. If I was supposed to um, do graphics or something because you said i should redesign and when they when they say design it means like bringing in new colors new shapes i don't know if that's your idea of redesign or you mean rearrange i, I didn't really understand what you expected me to do in our last conversation yeah I don't know if you can remember. yeah happy to to clarify and th this is really an idea you know if you're looking for something to help us with and you are in the user experience and more visual space uh this is something where we really could use some help um so what we're talking about is this slide template that uh Shri was using to report on the linux app summit the design here with these colors and these shapes and here the layout of the slides all of this is based on a previous report where we did not create this design and we were just reusing it because it was a good starting point and it would be nice to have something that we didn't just copy <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Per also, slide, per slide uh, or for only the um, opening slide? Sorry, what was I the question? question? I said, is it for all the slides or for only the beginning slide? Because some slides are just text. Uh, it's the, so when I think of uh, 
template, I am thinking of, let's see, does this even have it? No, I don't have permission to make any changes here. But it, it's the, the color scheme, it's the layout, you know, how much space is, it's, it's the shapes here, it's the font size, it, it's the, the collective impression that a slide deck provides. While yes, it's only text, there are still decisions that were made about where to place the heading, what size to use, what color to use, what font to use. So there's a lot of things that we can change uh, here. And then that we have this blue, this green, this purple. Um, we're not sold on any of this. All of this, you know, can go and we can have something completely different. There is a chaos template that we have. Um, I'm going to try to find it. The, I, I think um, what, one thing to note is that a lot of conferences have their own visual brand. Um, that, so the, the template shouldn't be overly uh, complex, you know, I guess, because it might be replaced by the conference's uh, branding itself. So uh, versus what I would do with this talk, I would with these slides is to give it to potential sponsors to kind of show the impact of the conference and so forth. So. Yeah. What we also have is, is this um, slide template for chaos with these circles and these lines. We are not married to it. It's really anything can go. Um, the goal, the ultimate goal is that we have a slide deck, like it says here, that event organizers can take and then they can say, okay, I want to modify the about page. Okay, I want to show these quick facts. And then they add in their numbers and then maybe they put it in their own template. Maybe they, it just gives them something to start working with. Okay. Did that, does, does that make more sense or am I still being confused? Okay, I understand now, um, but are there research um, tax? Do you have any tax here? Do you have anything, do you need any need of a researcher? You need anything that has to do with UX and research. Well, I don't, is, can you hear me? Yeah, I, I can hear you. I'm, I'm trying to think. Isn't the design of slides a kind of user experience or are you looking for software? Yeah, user it's user experience. experience. It's user experience. I'll work with that. That's fine. No problem. Do I need to? Uh, all I need to do is communicate with you, right? I don't need to raise any issue or any GitHub stuff. It's just within us, yeah? Yeah, everything is here in Google Docs. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. If you have some ideas or want to clarify anything, happy to talk through it. Right. Yeah, it's good. Uh, we see this as sort of an iterative kind of thing, right? I, you, you're probably aware, very well aware of this film is doing doing this kind of work. Um, so, like, maybe start with a proposal. Um, of what what do you think, and then we can kind of work from there. It's 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 a very I, I think for something like this, it's very free form. Um, What's what's important for us are, are the content of these slides. Like we, so these these content these these metrics come from uh, a sort of Google Doc that we have all worked together on, and felt these were important metrics that we want to show to the community at large. And so 
uh, in terms of design, I mean, as long as we have those metrics in there, we can um, we can figure out what the visual identity looks like or um, by whatever you propose. So. Yeah, what I'm showing this is where these metrics are described and where they come from. And I'm happy to share this in the chat too, so you know. And, and we have a few uh, uh, articles on opensource.com you could read as well that kind of talks about the work we did. Well, let's see if I can find those. Here, this is the latest. Oh, there you go. So I, I know this is a lot, Shalom, um, and there's not a lot of clear direction either. It's really open. If this is something you want to work on, great. If you have your own ideas, great. If you want to help us, and this really you can shape what what this is um, with your contribution and with your experience and expertise. There, you don't have hard requirements. All right, so well, thank you, Sri, for starting this. Yeah, I should do the same thing for chaos, and then yeah, I, I, my I guess my only feedback is I, I kind of wish we gathered our metrics like that. I work with the conference to make sure that we were looking out for it so it's easy to extract because what they have don't always gel with what we want to collect <laughs> and and so that was my bad is i had i, I, I should have um, worked with them a little bit more closely and make sure that they have um, um, an idea of this is what we want um, so they don't they don't integrate these things in the, uh, into this conference right so neither did we do that in glottic um so i, I want to make sure that uh, for our app ecosystem conferences that we are putting this in the pipeline and make sure it's an important thing i think this is where the idea from kenny came in to have a spreadsheet and mm. where we can enter the data and then it and then we can read the numbers from that spreadsheet right and create the slides we should invite it next time um and, and see if we can because um, he's involved in uh i sort of got him involved <laughs> those sort of He's uh, he so he, he I, I got him involved in Siegel too so uh, uh, and uh, but Siegel is another conference that we could uh, apply this this metrics to this um, as a community thing that's upcoming um, although I have to gingerly go back there because I'm even though I'm on the organizing committee I've had zero time for any conference work. Um, um, my job at Intel is, is, has been sucking up everything. Uh, yep, that, that happens sometimes. Yeah, it does. But, but uh, 
But it's interestingly enough, we're, we're doing a lot of the same things that we're doing here um, in terms of collecting metrics and stats. And they had um, review scores. Uh, they have they aggregate these scores from people who put feedback and then come up with some kind of score that the how much did the attendees like it, you know, kind of thing. Um, so that was one one thing I saw that was different from what we do here uh, in terms of um, so just for everybody else to know, I, I at work I'm the community manager for one API, uh, Intel's one API, which is this really large project, very large project. Um, and uh, I run the developer summit, or I'm the strategic head of the of the uh, developer summit. So a lot of so uh, the stuff we're all doing is is sort of what we do there now too. Um, uh, so uh, it's um, so we we try to we try to collect all these things like registered versus uh people who showed up and and whatnot so some similar similar uh things yeah well if if there's any way we can help with that um or if there are any synergies yeah happy to well uh, the challenge at the moment is that one api is very primarily a um, an intel project yeah and so what uh, or it's perceived very much as an intel intel thing and where we're going right now from an intel perspective is we want to get out of that get out of that perception mm -hmm. And so they're already working on open governance for one API. And for those who don't know, one API is a open ecosystem to, uh, to put it bluntly, uh, get people out of proprietary CUDA and into, um, um, heterogeneous computing using an open ecosystem. So for AI and HPC and whatnot, they want to, they want to use things like uh, Intel Intel or AMD or this five all these things so so we can't have one one uh, company being dominant so the idea is to start giving giving up control and and, and doing a pan governance model uh, interestingly enough they're not they're not doing the Linux foundation route so. <laughs> To, to, usually that's what companies do is they go to the Linux Foundation. Right? So but uh, they're trying to do their own thing. Do their own thing. Uh Open Infra um just announced their 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 service bundle for projects. Might be another interesting host to not Open land Infra. at the Open Infra. Uh, uh, can you can you put a link? Yeah, and when you join Open Infra, you get Bitur Geometrics. Ah, uh, this is the Open Infrastructure Foundation, right? Yeah. All uh, right. Yeah. Formerly known as OpenSAC. Yes. You're right. Got it. I thought Bearer at one time Intel was part of that. I don't know if they still are or not. Uh, yeah, but one of the things that they just started doing um, is uh, they they opened up their doors to say, hey we can host your project as well okay and help build up you know they have these uh four opens that are their yeah. core values and right. i i really like their four opens with you know open source as all the source code needs to be open then open design saying we're not going to be controlling the roadmap but right. open to all feedback, open development yeah. saying we provide the tools that anyone can contribute and then open community recognizing we want to have diversity, also yeah. in the leadership. And I really like their philosophy. Oh, yeah. Especially as it comes, gets to developing open governance. Yeah, let, let me, um, let me send them, let me send, uh, send them some notes there. We're already a gold member, so um, so that so that's a, 
that's a cool thing. Yeah, so they got airship, got the container. Yeah. Uh, up in Zoom. <laughs> uh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, you should see. Uh, it, it's good to be able to use things if you're already paying for it. But I think at the moment, all we're doing is hosting a spec. Um, and, and, but um, I, I want to be able to move to a, a working group that is not just in Delphi Bowl. So right now, that's that's what I'm doing right now, right? It's accepting papers and things like that, but it's an all in team. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you, okay. So we have about three minutes left because we always like to end before the top Early. of the hour. Yeah. Um, so, I think next steps, I'm going to take an action item to uh, fill out the template for ChaosCon EU 2022 uh, and then share with group and Elizabeth, the Chaos Community Manager. I should just work with Kenny. If I'm going to extract uh, metrics out of it for, for this, I might as well just do it for uh, Academy too. <laughs> He's involved in both, right? So yeah. So um, so I got I got all the academy mail there, Neil, because I I registered. <laughs> uh, I'm sure Kenny would be happy to provide those numbers and do this for us, but Kenny, I can't. Kenny. Kay's my man, um, oh. my go-to guy <laughs> for <laughs> infrastructure stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's our go-to guy as well. So, <laughs> do you know how his movement? I know he he moved and then didn't have internet. And did he? Yeah, get that settled was in on? August, right? Something like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. He wasn't an academy either, so I haven't been, haven't had a chance to talk to him there. So, oh, for me, might yeah. be a good opportunity to poke you. I guess. Yeah, talk him and see if you if you go come back. Yeah. He's on he's on our uh, on our matrix channel, so I can make sure yeah. to that. poke him and uh, get him here. Maybe we can make that as a working um, thing. If he has all the numbers, we could we could belt out two conferences uh, and yeah. then still build, build them out here, and then make that into a working group. Yeah, working session where we complete it together. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that then that that will move it forward. It will move it forward, and we can benefit from each other's expertise and can just solve things as we go and improve. Yeah, yeah I I like that idea. Let's have a working I session. Love, let's do it. That that way we come out of it and and we have we have something to show and we could we could even. ChaosCon, when is ChaosCon? <laughs> uh, the next ChaosCon is February 3rd in Brussels, the day before so, Fosdem. Ah, yes, Fosdem is back in person. And too bad I can't go. So yeah, February 3rd, Friday before Fosdem, be there. <laughs> Very B <deep> square. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, maybe maybe that's something we can work towards. We can use a working group, put these things out, show here's the kind of work we've been doing. That kind of shows the the output of work that's coming out of the working group. So yeah. uh, uh, Shalom, you you wanted to chime in? Nothing, nothing. I just it's just a random um thing I wanted to say that one down to be on your podcast. <laughs> How to be a how to be a guest on your podcast? <laughs> Just random. Does not relate to the conversation. You can continue saying what you're saying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, um, Shalom, did you want to take an action item to work on the slides? Or? Yes. Um. Yeah. Yes, I would want to um help redesign the templates or realign the templates. Yeah, but um, I don't know. Do we, do we have deadlines? Can I know 
the timelines and all these things because I am currently my I'm currently resuming school and um this week will be a bit busy so if I'm doing any work to be next week so I don't know the, how about the end of November how about end of November oh that's that's that is a lot of time. Yeah, I'll be done before that. <laughs> and and you can you can ask questions on our on our matrix channel at any time. If you want if you want to do it earlier, if you uh if if, if you want less time, we can give you less time. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, we could uh we could do uh how about how about you give us how about you give us a preliminary uh, thing on the 16th uh, or the, the today's Tuesday, on the 15th? I think we have a meeting. Um, so, all right. So, um, what, what, what I'm expected to do is um, a, temp, a, a mood board to show you guys what I'm working on, right? Yeah, uh, so uh, I guess what, uh, and if the rest agree, uh, what we're looking for would be a, uh, a template, show us what colors you want to use, like like a palette, uh, show us uh, kind of initial graphics that would be used, what fonts you like, you think would be good. So uh, let's start with some preliminaries and then we could, in that at that moment, we could um, help guide you for the rest. So we, we make you halfway. That way uh, you get some feedback. So uh, what I guess what we're asking for is more of that basic font color palette and yeah. kind of graphic style, right? And then we could put it together after that with some discussion of what art or whatever we want to do. So sometimes we need a visual to kind of guide you the rest of the way, right? Okay, okay, that makes sense, thank you. So, uh, so come with some some kind of, like one slide that showcases the colors, the fonts and a graphics. How does that sound? Okay. Um, can I do this with Figma, or they all have to be on slides? You, you could use whatever tools you like that makes you the most efficient. We're not, we, uh, even though we're open source people, we do realize that tooling is important, but we don't want to um, stop you from using tools that you're familiar with. Yeah, and okay. maybe convince you later to use open source tools. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay. like ten there. points. Pinpoint is an open source design tool. Awesome. The the one thing I want to talk about is our next meeting. If we follow yeah. the two weeks, it would be November eight. That is the day, or that is during the Linux Foundation Member Summit, which oh. I'm likely going to. Okay. Oh, I will list that as well. So, so if you wanted to move it to the fifteenth. We could meet on the 15th. And then we'll have a makeup right, on the 22nd. Well, we could just give her an extra week. How about just do the 22nd? And then, um, so we just skip next week and then meet on the 22nd? Yeah. But but I'm supposed to show you the um, groundwork by, by the middle of November. So do we now move that to 22nd? If you have something earlier, you can really you share can. it in the in the channel, and we can see, talk yeah. about that asynchronously. But yeah, otherwise you can do a presentation, I guess, in our next call. You okay. can do it early and just post it on our chat channel, and we can just discuss it virtually. We don't we don't have to wait for a meeting. Okay, is what Neo is saying. I think right, Neo, not the masculine. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. All this right. Thank you.
Great meeting. See you in one month. See you in one month. So you have day people. Hopefully sooner. Hope to see you around Thank more, Shalom. Yep. Okay. Same here. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Nice to see you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.